So today I'm going to show you how to do a mock-up. Um, let me make this big. So I did increase my cursor size so you guys could see it. So I'm going to move forward with the giraffe that I started yesterday. So let me go to my t-shirt design folders and find it. So here is my design. And because we're going to do this as a mock-up, I'm not going to mirror the image. So I've got it. I've pulled it into my queue here. I'm going to uncheck the mirror box and I'm going to go ahead and rotate it because I'm on a 550 and this design is A4 size. So I'm going to go down here and change my width. And then I'm just going to click and kind of bring it over like so so everybody can see it okay so now i'm going to go back over here to my job let me uh pull this up whoops pull this up a little bit bring it over there we go <clears throat> okay so now i'm going to click on color adjust and i'm going to delete this use graphics for transparency dot size and I'm going to change my dot size to 210 because I feel like that's a good starting point for me and I'm going to change my choke remember this is just for the purposes of a mock-up so I'm going to change my choke to zero and I think that looks good I'm going to leave it at the ICC setting and I'm going to click OK now I'm not going to remove the black, even though it's a black t-shirt because it doesn't look good when I'm doing a mock-up. So now that I have gone ahead and changed my dot size, I'm just going to double click on the graphic and the jobs panel will come up here. I'm going to choose color layer, ink removal, and I want to do this as lines. So let me change this to lines. And I'm going to make it 28 frequency. And I'm going to click OK. And now I'm just going to go over here and choose Rip Only. And I'm going to wait for that to do its thing. OK, and notice that it's saying Holding Job Spool. So I'm going to right click. And I'm going to View Raw Data. So this is what, you know, unfortunately, because it's a rip, it's the coloring is just way off. So I can't actually just use this. So I'm going to save this and then I'm going to bring it back into Photoshop. So I'm going to save it and I don't want it to be 100 megabytes. That would be a little big. So I'm going to change my resolution to 300 and click OK. And I'm just going to put it on my desktop so I can find it later. And I'm going to call it Giraffe Lines. And I'm just going to save it. Okay, now I've already done this. So I'm going to take you guys back over to Photoshop. And here is my um, design file. And I did have to mess with it a little bit because when I delete the white, in just a minute, you'll see what I mean. So let me check my whoops check my background there so you can see the black and now i'm going to go ahead and place that image on here so i'm going to go place embedded and i'm going to go here to the giraffe lines and i'm going to rotate the image counterclockwise and i'm just going to resize it see how that looks. It looks like it's going to match up pretty good. Um, so here it is here. All right, so now I'm going to turn this top layer off because the one thing I did notice is that it's turned my, because I turned the transparency piece off in ProRip, I still have these pink lines. So I'm going to get rid of the white and this light pink here. 
So let me go over here to my magic wand tool. The first thing I'm going to do is rasterize this layer because it's a smart object right now. So I'm going to rasterize the layer. Then I'm going to click with my magic wand tool. Let me do that again. I'm going to take my magic wand tool here and I'm just going to click on the white and delete it. So now you can see there's no white left. Now I'm going to make this a little bit bigger. You see what I mean about these little pink lines here? I don't want them to show because I want people to see that the text is kind of distressed. So I'm going to get my magic wand tool again and I'm going to click on this light pink stuff and I'm just going to delete it and then Command D or Control D on a PC. And let me go back to fit on the screen. Okay, so now you can see that I got rid of all those pink lines. So now we want to get our original artwork back. So I've just clicked on the I button here and I'm just going to right click on that layer and choose Create Clipping Mask. And so now the lines that you did in ProRip are showing up here. Now if we, now let me release that clipping mask. And let's see if there's anything else on here. Let's get rid of this black. Are there any other weird colors? I don't think so. I think that looks pretty good. <clears throat> All right, so let's do the clipping mask again. Remember, create clipping mask. And we'll turn off this black. And now what you can do is save it as a PNG file and put it on top of your t-shirt mock-up and your folks will see what a t-shirt looks like with the rip. So I hope this was helpful and I'll talk to you guys soon.